let's get back onto that. People today, some people are in love, mind you, but the majority of people, they settle. They, they fall into this routine, you know, whether they, they just knock some girl up, knock some girl up. I know no one really likes that term, but it's, it's what it is. Somebody just is with the person that they happened to, to be with in high school and years pass. And, you know, people that live in fear, it's hard for them to create change in their life. They, they fall into a routine. So what happens today in today's society is you don't really have a chance to understand what, what love even is. You know, what real empowering love, unconditional love, love that, that you give without even getting anything in return. That's real love. Real love is when you make the hard decision. You do something that you otherwise would never do because of somebody else. <laughs> that's, that's love. In today's society, we don't have that. We, we have fear. You know, if somebody sees somebody choking to death now, they're not going to go over there and give them a Heimlich maneuver because they're scared that they're going to get fucking uh, sued by the guy because, oh, he broke my ribs. It's happened. I can't believe this shit. So, people start lowering their vibration. They start doing what's easy. Yeah. There's so many girls that I've either been in a relationship or have had friends and I'm kind of the Dr. Phil so I get to hear a lot of, you know, people's problems and what have you. And, and they're not even my friends or significant others, exes, what have you. People that I go out on call on when I'm working in the service industry, going into their houses. They, they tell me stuff. So what it boils down to is, you know, people settle and, and they t convince themselves that they love that person. And that's what, you know, earlier society wanted us to be. You know, you, you, you had structured marriages. Your, your, your king dad had you fucking married off to the douchebag king from across the way. That way, you know, one day they won't be at war with each other. That's why you had all these cousins and all this other bullshit in the, uh, the royal families. That's why the Rothschilds had to break all those royal families up because it was easier to control the European countries when you had a system like you have today you know it's harder to convince you know one of the family members that has a legacy and that you've been taught for hundreds of years or generations that hey you need to strive to hold on to this legacy <laughs> and all of a sudden you have like a Napoleon Bonaparte figure coming in do all your dirty work for you handle business now you have hardly any royal families to contend with and the ones that you do have to contend with you just went and bought out all starts with fear okay you got characters like Jesus that come along and try to promote love you can't have that in your world so you take care of that shit Folks like Martin Luther King come in, promote love and peace and unity. Black kids and white kids running around playing on the same swing together. <sighs> Racial hatred is taught. Okay, you're not born with that. You don't realize that you're supposed to be hating folks. Until maybe, I don't know, six, seven. That's generally when you can start being indoctrinated into that. 
So that's about when you start going to school and learn how to hate folks and all of the above. We gotta start looking a little bit deeper, folks. We gotta stop settling. We gotta stop accepting anything less than what we want in life, what we desire, what we yearn for. And all of us yearn to be loved, to be held at night, to, to have that someone. Even assholes like me. I mean, no joke. I, I love someone. I care about people. I just... The thing about being an empath, you absorb everybody's emotions. So the thing that you have to do, at least what I've had to do, is put a block. That way... You know, I do come across as an asshole to people that I don't open up to. And that's also a Scorpio thing. That's one of the good things about being a Scorpio empath is you're like naturally gifted with that ability. You have natural blocking ability where you you can keep people at bay. But you also, you love so much harder and deeper. And people don't necessarily understand that about Scorpios, but that is the case. When you, when you do open up, when you do give yourself to somebody, I mean, it is empowering. It's powerful. I stumbled across this whole twin flame term. Just so happened when, at least I feel anyways, I found her. And we came into each other's lives and all kinds of crazy shit was going on in my life. Interesting enough is like all the, the, the most fucked up shit, people dying, all kinds of crazy shit. It was also the time when she was in my life. So it was like a bittersweet, all this pain and, and being in a position where I have to face my fears and face all of my bullshit. But also, she was there to make it seem blissful. <laughs> and I look at that time and I understand what it's all about now. I understand that it was what gave me the strength to have all of this stuff come together, come to the surface and be dealt with. And it was hard pressed to do it all at the time, but oh my God, the fact that it's come in and essentially it's called the dark night of the soul. Everybody is like, fuck you. <laughs> and you have a chance to more or less crawl into a hole and figure out who you are, what you're about, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, what your faults are, the things you need to work on, the things that you need to do in order to be happy with who you are. And that's the thing about the twin flame. When that person comes into your life, it, it's gonna be so intense, it's gonna be like, it, it's gonna be the scariest fucking shit you ever had happen to you and it's going to be the most amazing thing you've ever had happen all at the same time that's us thinking in linear fashions scariest most loving and exciting wow those are two different things no they're the same fucking thing all works together so you know you know if you have to I, I don't know, if you have to like talk yourself into enjoying this person's company, that's not the twin flame. Twin flame is somebody, as soon as you lock eyes with them, you, you, you can't look away. You realize that 10, 20 minutes of conversation has happened and you're like still locked in. You almost don't even want to blink. God. It's an intense feeling and you can't, you can't m misunderstand it for something else. So, also, what goes along with this whole twin flame connection is you, you start hearing things, 
thoughts, uh, dreams, all kinds of things and as far as connections go. You get all that. So people that are married and really love each other, you know, they're out in the, the fucking grocery store and one goes and gets the sugar and the other one goes and gets the milk and somehow, you know, somebody forgets, oh, well, I needed to get this. So they ventured off and go to get that. Well, both of them thought at the same time, oh, I forgot to put this on the list. We need to go and get it. And they find themselves in the same aisle and think that it's so funny but that's twin flame you're on the same frequency you're on the same path you're the same person the, the thing is we are connected to all of this around us okay but my connection to this tree is so far down the line that i can't communicate with that tree Okay, I, I can't sit there and, and feel what that tree's problem is today. But your twin flame is part of you, your spiritual energy. All the energy that you put off in your life, you're, you're giving people your energy, okay? Now, your twin flame is that collective of energy compared to all the other people that you give your energy to. You know, you don't give your energy to that person. They are your energy. That's why it's so intense when it comes together. That's why the, the eyes are doorways to the soul. That's what goes on. So in this ego-driven world, in this fear-driven world, we don't want people to be in love. We want people to settle for 